Today again, I'm gonna talk about ETFs, but not just any ETF. I'm gonna talk about electric vehicle and autonomous driving ETFs. It's all very, very exciting. As you probably know, if you're a subscriber to the channel, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, then you should be, and you need to get yourself down there and subscribe right away. I'm a big fan of ETF investing, very passively putting my money into index funds that invest my money for me effectively and uh, generally give very good returns. One of my last videos, I'll tag it up in the corner, is me buying the top 10 electric vehicle stocks, which was a complete experiment and you shouldn't copy that, you shouldn't do it, but it was a complete experiment. Now, the reason I like ETF investing is it diversifies your money for you. Now, in that video, I bought the top 10, but actually most people are only gonna pick one or two of their favorites, but what happens if they pick the wrong one and it crashes? That's obviously a huge fear in individual stock picking, which is why I'm a big fan of ETF investing because they invest almost for you effectively. Now you can get ETFs in almost anything in the all different sectors of the stock market, in the finance sector, in the energy sector. You can do S&P 500 trackers, you can do the British FTSE, English FTSE 100 tracker. There's ones for over in Asia. There's, there's ETFs for almost anything. But there's now ETFs, well it has been for a little while now, for electric vehicles and autonomous driving. So I'm going to show you the kind of my pick for the two top ones, I guess. There's plenty of others out there, but these are probably the two better known ones, I guess, and they've given a pretty good return. So we're gonna jump into the laptop, we're gonna go through uh, just a couple of bits about each ETF there and give you an overview of, of what they're about, really, their holdings and uh, what they returned year to date. So I think it's probably a good way to go if you wanna get into the, the electric vehicle space or the autonomous driving space, but you're not certain on one particular stock and you don't want to just go all in on workhorse or neo or tesla this will allow you to diversify across the ev space and the two etfs i'm going to show you i'm going to show you their holdings and they hold quite a few not just electric vehicle companies tech companies that are going to aid in the autonomous driving space so we'll get into the laptop and have a little look at the two companies are the two etfs now so here we are straight into it. I'm gonna go through the portfolio this time around or today. We'll just look at these two ETFs. So the two main ones are Global X and iShares. So iShares, self-driving, electric vehicle, and tech ETF. So we'll go through a couple of bits. It's all pretty much on this home screen anyway. So we've got quite clearly a nice big 54.71% up year to date. We've got an expense ratio, so it does it will it will cost you half a percent nearly on a yearly basis to hold it um, and for the ETF to be pretty much managed. The net asset value at the moment is nearly $42. And if we look at what it's costing at the moment, it's 42.30. So you're pretty much there or thereabouts. It's slightly overvalued minutely at the moment. Is it enough to worry about? Probably not, no. So going back to the, the ETF itself, we've got as I said, huge 54.71 year to date. If we scroll down, it's got loads of information about the uh, about the ETF. It's got 100 holdings in total. And if we scroll right to the bottom, it gives you the holdings. So these are the top holdings here. Tesla, as I said, Apple. Now we've just had news of the Apple car potentially coming out in 2024. This is, Apple is, a, is, a, is a getting into the EV space, but being a tech company, they're probably gonna have some sort of involvement as are Google, they're gonna have some sort of involvement in the tech involved in autonomous driving, and that's why they're in the fund. We've got Samsung, we've got Toyota Motors, and obviously Tesla at the very top, and then we've got a load more. We go on to page two. Uh, General Motors, they're getting into the EV space. Honda, Ford, they're all getting into the EV space. And then, of course, we've got the likes of uh, Neo, and we've got the likes of Xpeng here, and actually the, the more well-known EV uh, companies. Not necessarily your companies like your General Motors and your Honda, which will be getting into the, the EV space and, and are, but companies like Neo, which are solely electric vehicle companies. 
Anyway, so that's all I share. So that's the first one. Um, so it said huge return so far this year, which is great. And I think it's the type of sector that's really gonna help drive things forward. It's gonna be the type of sector and the type of industry that really grows quite rapidly from, from here on in. Sales of electric vehicles are growing rapidly. So it's a good industry sort of sector to be getting into. And these, in my opinion, is really the safest way to, to do it. So let's have a look at the other one. So the other one is Global X. I bought a Global X REIT ETF recently with a huge dividend, a uh, huge return. So let's have a look at this autonomous and electric vehicle ETF. So we've got some information just down here on the side. These are the key key things you wanna be looking at really. So the net asset value is 23.51. Price at the moment is 23.55. So you're there or thereabouts, so not over or undervalued by any means. If we scroll down, we've got the return so far this year of 47.78, which is just staggering again, a good industry or sector to be in. And if we scroll down a bit further, we've actually got even more, more of a breakdown here. We've got um, what country the, the companies that are in the ETF are, are from. Um, United States makes up the majority, the vast majority. Then we've got Japan, China, South Korea, the, over in Asia, so makes complete sense. Top 10 holdings, we've got Tesla at the top, Apple's in there as well, Neo is in there, Google again is in there, Microsoft, so Google, Microsoft, Apple, they're gonna have, obviously Apple's getting into the EV car space anyway in 2024 with, with the iCar, but they're going to have the technology and they're gonna be working on the technology involved in autonomous driving anyway. So that's why the big tech companies like that are, are in the ETF. Um, but as you can see there, I'll see Tesla topping the, the ETF at the top there as it was in the uh, in the other one. In fact, we've got 4.23% uh, of the ETF is Tesla. Um, and, and then we've got all the, bringing up the rear at nearly three, uh, up towards three, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, and, and lower twos. So 4.23 is massive. The fact that the uh, Tesla makes up, you know, the majority of the, the ETF really. iShares are, are similar, I think. So yeah, uh, iShares are 4.31% and Apple's not far off and Toyota's not far off as well. So actually the Global X one, Tesla are, are at the top by, by, by quite a margin. So these are the two ETFs. There'll be loads more out there if you Google EV ETFs, you'll have a, a full list of them. In fact, I made a list. I made a list of them. Um, yeah, we've got First Trust, Alps, uh, another First Trust one, another Alps one, uh, a Crane Shares. Um, so there's, there's lots of them out there um, to, to, to go for. Just one thing on the Global X one, it's a little bit more expensive at 0.68% expense ratio so it's going to cost you a little bit and the return obviously is not as good so as it stands the iShare iShares one is uh is topping it and would be the better one to go for in my eyes but certainly global x is is up there with the returns you know 0.7 percent is not much to pay when you're returning you know 47 percent in a in a year and uh great etfs to be involved in so that's it really do your own homework do your own research and decide which ones you're going to be going into because there's loads of them out there you could always go into more than one and further diversify your money. Although I think the vast majority of them will have quite similar holdings, i.e. Tesla, Apple, Neo, and uh, and a lot of the EV companies, as well as the general car companies, General Motors, Honda, Toyota, Volkswagen, and uh, companies like that. So do your own homework, get into maybe a couple of them or work out which one is best for you. And I think it's a great way to diversify your money and not uh, be involved in the electric vehicle hype that's going on right now but a lot in a lot safer way a much safer way of, uh, of doing it so yeah that's it so anyway, guys hope that was helpful let me know in the comments below uh, which ones you're going to be getting into if it's not one of those two global x or iShares, which ones you'll be looking at getting into yourself what ev companies you are in anyway and what you're going to be looking at getting into uh, pop it in the comments below because i'd love to hear kind of what you're what you're all about what you're doing what you're getting up to as i said at the, at the beginning of the video consider subscribing to the channel because there'll be loads more content like this at least once a week if not more and uh, give the video a little like down there if you've gotten any value from this if you're sitting there thinking ah oh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna get into an ev etf now because it diversifies my money tom's actually absolutely right i can uh, sleep a bit easier at night without suddenly news of Neo going under comes out and I put all my money into that. 
if you've had any kind of value and it's changed your way of thinking about getting into electric vehicle, the electric vehicle space, then like the video, because that helps me, which in turn helps you. So that's it for this video, guys. It's Christmas tomorrow. I will then do another video probably in a week or so. I'm not going to be getting them out as regularly at the moment just because Christmas is getting in the way. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas wherever you are and whatever you're up to. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.